What's up, YouTube? Star 44 coming in with another video. What a woman should not be. Ten things what a woman should not be, I should say. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my regular subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button in the corner of your screen. Hit that notification bell as well. You get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your device as soon as I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right to this video. Ten things what a woman should not be. Yesterday, I did a video on 10 things what a woman should be, but let's talk about what a woman should not be, you know, starting with number one, a woman should not be too masculine. Like, you know, sometimes I we meet women and they don't have a soft voice. They come in with a strong voice. They come in with just thinking they know it all. Just come in with, you know, just all this masculine energy as if they don't need a man. And it really don't really not going to ever get me turned on to deal with a woman that sound very masculine, very, you know, like like a dude. You know, I, if a dude, if I want to date a dude, then I guess I'll be gay, but I'm not trying to fuck with no shit like that. So being very too masculine for a woman will turn a man off, especially if he's a masculine man. You know, maybe if he's a pushover guy, he might enjoy dealing with a masculine woman, but being too masculine can turn a man off. And that's my number one. Number two is manipulative. Now, manipulation goes hand in hand. And that's one reason why it's good to be self-improved and like, you know, live life and have life experience because you can find out what type of manipulative games women play. And women, you know, sometimes you guys can be manipulative towards everything because that, it, let's just be real. You guys are the gatekeepers of sex. So if you hold sex away from your man or play manipulative games like that, you don't don't use sex as a weapon. That's all I got to say about that. That's my number two. Number three, too independent. Don't, you know, sometimes women can be too independent, too entitled, and they can lose sight of what a man's supposed to do and what a man's supposed to be. It's good for you to be independent and take care of your shit. But at some point, you got to be willing to, when you find the right man and he's on his plan, you got to be willing to allow him to take over and take the lead. So don't be too independent that you don't allow a man to take the lead because you'll be shooting yourself in the foot and you'll be live, uh, dealing with these beta male sip man giants. That's my number three. Number four, too entitled. Don't allow the world's of simps to put you on a pedestal as if you got a, a man got to bend to your every need. This is when you need to be very cooperative and understanding what a man goes through and what type of man you need. Because when you when you feed a man right, you become his supercharger and y'all can progress in a relationship. So make sure you're not too entitled. You got to recognize what type of people are putting you on a pedestal. Are these simps or are they these real men? Because too many, too much simp validation will make you entitled, and you'll you will start thinking, um, you'll start thinking um, unrealistic, and don't 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 be this woman. That's my number four. Number five, the drama queen. That entitlement causes a drama queen, calls a spoiled child. A woman that is a drama queen is pretty much a child in a woman's body. Spoiled child, child wants to get her way. If it if it's not her way, she's trying to start shit. She's uh, sitting here talking about her friends behind their back, then smiling in their face. Same thing with you, calling you dusty, crusty. If you don't get what you, if she don't get what you need from you, she gonna start throwing fits and tantrums. So women, let's just grow the fuck up. You know, if you're going to be too independent, realize that sometimes every day ain't going to be sunshine and rainbows. And sometimes it's going to be some drama in the world. But you got to learn how to face that drama head on. Just like sometimes, just like men should do. All right. Number four. I mean, number six. Sorry. Too nosy. Like, stop worrying about what everybody else doing on the gram or on the book. Worry about your life. Worry about your lane. Stop worrying about what that couple did, what this couple did. Some women get too nosy and think they can have it all, but you really can't. So don't be too nosy. Number seven, caring about what people think as well. You, I mean, that's this is a big one. This one, literally, this validation of caring about what people think will send women to the grave, send women lonely, send women uh, buying a dog and dying alone. 
You don't want to care about what people think. You should only care about what you think because you're in control of your life. And you only have one life to live, so be in control of it. Number eight, too sexual all the time. Let's just be real. A man that is a, a man that's a husband type of man looking for a wife, he don't want a, wife, a woman that he goes to her Instagram and she's over-sexualizing herself. She's always showing ass pics. That's not a wife material. So if you're looking to be a wife, you got to understand that a man is going to vet you out to see can you represent him in his program. And if you're showing ass shots and people can pull up his Instagram, you are an embarrassment. Even if you was the mother of his child, he would you would get his kids bullied at school. And like, your mom's the neighborhood hoe. She's on Instagram showing her ass. So remember, don't be too sexual, ladies. All right. Number nine, never speak up for yourself. You know, a lot of times you get women don't speak up for themselves. They get around a masculine man, and he may be too masculine, and they hold their mouth. You got to understand how to speak up for yourself and tell a man what what you feel and how you should feel. And that's, that goes a long way with anybody you deal with. If you can't have freedom of speech or feel like you could be who you should be, you shouldn't be there in the first place. So that's my number nine. Make sure you speak up for yourself. Number 10, not willing to compromise and you're basically not fit. You got to understand is compromise comes with a price. You got to compromise and understand counseling, understand how to make yourself better. On top of that, we have an obesity rate in the in the community of women are overweight and men these days. And at the end of the day, you got to be fit. If you want to even get a man looking at you or taking you serious for the long haul, be fit. It's cool to be thick, but men that thinks like husbands, we think about if you get a couple more, couple more, uh, have a baby, you get a little bit older. It's hard to lose that weight when you get older. Trust me, I'm in the gym all the time, and I've trained women before. So make sure you're working on your fitness because your fitness is is your 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 wealth. Your health is your wealth. Be honest, your fitness is your gatekeep. It's is pretty much your golden gate bridge to everything in life. If you're a woman, if you stay fit, a man will always be in your face. But eventually, if you don't stay fit, when you get 30, 40, you'll be talking about, oh, I had babies, I had this. I, I, you'll be bringing me all these damn excuses of why you're not fit and what you used to look like. Nobody care about what you used to like, look like. They want to see what you look like now. So m maintain your fitness is your maintenance for your whole life, period. And, you know, that's it. That's do it for you. Don't do it for a man. When you do it for yourself, you'll realize the perks that come along with it. But that was my 10. You know, I'm not going to go over it one more time because it's a long list. But at the end of the day, I want you guys to not be these type of women. I want you guys to stack attack your life. I want you to stack up your life. I want you to plan, purpose, program. Understand it's you versus you. Like I said on the last video, single women keep other women single. So make sure you dealing with women in your circle that thinks like wise so all y'all can be one one day. And that's why, that's why I really want to say on this video, and I'll holler at you guys on the next video. Peace.